Hi guys, this is a short tutorial here on how to set up Recall Check in your Home Inspector Pro template. For those of you that don't know, Recall Check is a system that allows you to input the brand and the model of different appliances throughout your home directly into Home Inspector Pro, and then you submit that information to Recall Check. They do a comparison and look up all the items to see if any of them have been recalled and then they send out a report to your client uh, at an interval that you've set up uh, in advance. So the first thing you need to do is create an account on a recall check and uh, if you don't already have an account you can actually create one by going to the internet setting here and click on recall check login information and there's a link right here to create a new account. If you already have an account, you're going to input your recall check username and password directly into this area. I'm going to click OK here. For recall check to work, you have to have input all your client's information. So I have my name, my address, my phone number, all that good information here. And what we need to do first, we're only going to do one time, and that's to set up the template to work with recall check and once we've set it up we'll never need to do that again we'll just need to collect the information so very first time I'm gonna go to uh, the kitchen now if this is the default template I'm looking at right now if you're using a different deep uh, different template or modified uh, made it your own template then the locations of, of where you're doing these things are going to change slightly but the concepts all the same so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to go to my microwave tab here within the kitchen. That's one of the places I want to input some appliance information on. And I'm going to click on edit comments to turn the comment mode on on the left hand side of the program. I'm going to click on add. We're going to add two things into each area that we're going to collect an appliance. And you'll see there's a recall check fields button. <coughs> When I click on that, there's three different options. We can insert a brand, a model, and a serial number. The program, we always, you have to collect the brand and the model number for recall check to work, but you don't need the serial number, so most people don't, but the option's there in case you do want to. So I'm going to click on insert brand. And when you're doing the report, you could just type in a brand, but I actually used the list feature here, and I've created an appliance brands list. So I'm going to insert that. And then that way I just have a drop down box in the future to make that a little bit faster. And I'm going to add another comment and I'm going to insert in model and click OK. And now what we're going to do here is I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to copy them. And then I'm going to go to the dishwasher section. That's another place I need to do comments. And I'm going to click in the box so the program knows where I want to paste. And then I'm going to click on paste. And that way I've now pasted those comments in there. I don't have to add them manually over and over again uh, into each section that you want to do the recall check. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to add these comments into each area that you want to do a recall check, uh, especially things like your, your air conditioner, your oven, uh, any of those big appliances. So now that we have this in there, let's say we're on a real inspection. Well, what I would do is select these two comments and click on black to move them into the report. Double click on the brand and I would select the brand. So I wrote down some information about uh, appliances in my house. So I have a GE dishwasher. So we're in the dishwasher tab. I selected GE. And the model, model here. And so I'm going to type that in and uh, the funny thing is when I was testing out recall check to get it all set up in our system I was input, inputting in all my information and uh, a couple of weeks ago I actually got a email from recall check because I was you know doing live tests with it I got an email saying that hey uh, one of your appliances have been recalled and uh, what happens is recall check actually follows up and so if something is recalled in the future it actually sends an email and it said you know thank you for using such and such inspector um, you know, because you were using them you know we're still looking at recall check and looking up your appliances we found a recall and gave me all the information on what I needed to do so uh, I actually need to go take care of that so I'm gonna click OK got my model number in there and now in the report you'll see that we've added in the brand and the model 
and I can do the same thing with the microwave. I'm going to select those two, click black, double click, and my microwave is also GE. And if you didn't need, or if it wasn't one of these, you can always backspace and erase the drop down and type it in manually. And then my model. Okay, I've put that in. So that would actually show up in the report. Um, now I'm going to go to Internet and Recall Check Data Collection. Now, to set up the template here, what we have are the appliance type. So I've, I've put two types of appliances in the program. The first one is a dishwasher. And the second one was a microwave. And so the, the, the drop downs on the left where it says appliance type, those are all the different appliances that you're collecting in your template. And you can see we have lots of spots for you to put in a, a lot of appliances here. And then the next two drop boxes next to the appliances, the same as the photo area of the program, it's telling the program where the dishwasher is located in your template. So in this template, it's in the kitchen, it's in the dishwasher section. The microwave is also in the kitchen, and it's in the microwave. And we would keep going. If I was collecting information about the oven, I'd go to oven, kitchen, oven. And once you put all that information in, you're basically mapping your area of the template to the recall check fields. You'll save template, and then in the future, this information will always be filled out. You never need to do it. So all you need to do is go to the sections like we did, go to dishwasher, go to microwave, anything else you're doing the recall on, input in the, the brand of the model. And then when you come here, all you need to do is click on update this page, and it automatically pulled in that I, in the dishwasher section, I put in GE with that model, and I put in the microwave, which also GE, and that model. So the program pulled in the information we put directly into this section. Then I'm going to click on Submit to Recall Check. And it's going to submit that to Recall Check. It says Success. Your Recall Check information has been submitted. And that's it. So you don't need to go to Recall Check's website and put all this information in again. It's automatically in here. Um, that's it. And uh, if you have any questions on this, please give us a call or ask a question on our message boards. Thank you.